I challenge you to compete in this simulated investing tournament to win some serious money. I hope you'll join us. I'll be coaching you every step of the way. Just very quickly, Amazon Care is uh, shutting down their operation uh, as of the end of the year. You know, obviously, they bought one medical, maybe transitioning some of the effort uh, over to that side of the house. So them shutting down is actually kind of interesting from the perspective of most people in the industry thought, hey, Amazon's like not really doing anything with the assets they bought. Uh, I think one medical is really a, a, them buying that as a big transition for them. Uh, probably makes them a little bit more serious, a little bit more competitive. Really where this is going to fall out, I think, is uh, you know, you can see where Teladoc has been kind of treading water here recently. We've done a lot of incremental work around the behavioral health side, um, you know, looking at a few of the offerings there, uh, and that really being the last leg. I think if Amazon Care is, you know, it was always the threat to Teladoc, um, you know, the, the, the stocking threat in terms of, oh, they're going to undercut price or they're going to do this, that, and the other thing, but that, you know, Teladoc doesn't have a future. I, I think if anything, Amazon Care shuttering is is really just a, a stake in the heart of sort of a per member per month priced tele telehealth benefit. That there's just no there's no incremental demand on that side of the house. And then on the behavioral side, and Emily and I had a, some really great meetings um, in Nashville last week that sort of informed this view. But just on the behavioral health side, the way that benefit's being structured, the way the clinics are being uh, built and staffed, and that 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 whole care model is is much, 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 much more robust than what um, Teladoc Better Help is trying to do and where their integrated uh, effort is going. So I think Teladoc was very special, you know, pre-pandemic, uh, became, I mean, very special during the pandemic early phases. It's now no longer very special. And in fact, it's probably legacy, um, you know, and fading away with Amazon Care sort of being the, the capstone on, okay, this is this is something somebody tried in the industry some time ago. We'll all talk about it in the textbooks, but from the point of view, there's a lot of parallels here, I think, that that ultimately come back negative on, on the Teladoc story. Um, so we'll we'll actually, I think for us, we we've, we've got a you know, we've had a good success with that short call. I think the real question is, does it go to 15 from here or something lower? Um, and so that's the, that's the next bit of work we're going to do on uh, on Teladoc in terms of better help and how consumer centric it is. Are they going to suffer in a slowdown? Uh, and then on the benefit side, we've just not heard anybody talk positively about it. Gotcha. Well, that's been an awesome short. And it seems to be kind of trading up a little bit this week, this uh, this morning. Just based on that Amazon <laughs> news, which is funny because <laughs> sounds like it's an absolute negative. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, yeah, if, if they if, if those guys with deep pockets and unlimited resources, you know, to to sort of push this thing around, you know, can make a go of it. We're also hearing the same thing on Primary 360, which is the next gen offering for Teladoc. There's no there's no there there, right? So yeah, it's the absence of a competitor, but you know. I would definitely be shorting that any rally off the out the Amazon care. I'm reading that very negatively for Teladoc. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.